Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and we're going to take a look at the LG G3. This is actually the Verizon version, comes in at $99 with a two-year contract, so a pretty good price for what you're getting inside here. So let's take a look and see what comes in the box, and then go over all of the features and specs. So inside, you can see this one is an, a white LG G3. You can see on the back here, it's Verizon 4G LTE. And the difference between the Verizon model and the other models is this actually has a removable back. And we'll take a look at that in just a moment. Inside, we probably have our typical Verizon literature. We also have a USB to micro USB cable. We have the typical LG AC adapter to USB adapter. And then we have our battery. This is a pretty large battery, which is another thing I like to see with a lot of these new smartphones is a huge battery. There's no reason not to have one. So let's set this aside, set everything out of the way and take a closer look at the phone itself. So this battery is a good size battery and I'll show you exactly what the specs are here. Here we have a 3.8 volt 3000 milliamp hour battery. Now, according to the actual specs, this is good for about 19 hours of talk time, 22 and a half days of standby. On 3G, you get an extra couple hours of talk time, 23 days of standby time, or 25 days of standby, depending on what you're connected to. And again, it's 3000 milliamp hours. So let's pop the back off here. Inside this phone, you have similar specs to the OnePlus One, which means you've got a Snapdragon 801 processor, quad-core 2.5 gigahertz, Adreno 330 GPU, three gigabytes of RAM, and 32 gigabytes built-in storage. Here you can see there's the SIM card or micro SD slot as well. They're kind of stacked right there. You've got your battery outlet, obviously. Plug this in right here. You've got room for your NFC and then you've got your camera and everything else we'll talk about in a moment. So let's snap the back on. Now there are a couple colors this comes in as well. And we do have this piece of plastic on the back as well. So it's got a plasticky feel to it. It is plastic on the back. It snaps in like that. It feels nice and thin. On the front we've got the highest resolution display of any smartphone quad hd which is very very impressive and probably the standout feature of the lg g3 it's 5.5 inches 1440 by 2560 pixels 538 pixels per inch it's an ips lcd display so it should give us good viewing angles and that's pretty crazy as far as the resolution of the display and then on the back we have a 13 megapixel camera dual led flash we also have our speaker down here and unlike other phones of this size lg has decided to put the power sleep wake button on the back with the volume up and down right here and it actually feels pretty good in the hand after you use it for a while there's still some plastic on the sides here that are driving me crazy take this off here And there's one more on the bottom. So they protect this phone pretty well. Let's move all of these little pieces away. Now for size comparison, here is the OnePlus One. So it's actually got a little bit shorter profile than the OnePlus One and thickness wise about the same, but a little bit different. But thought I'd just show you that. On the bottom, we have our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, microphone, micro USB charge port. Here you can see this is the little piece. You can just put your nail in here and pop the back off. On the top, looks like we've got an IR blaster, microphone, nothing on this side. And on the front, we've got a forward facing camera. And that's pretty much it. Now, as far as the overall phone feels plasticky, feels very light without the battery but let's turn it on for the first time. Just vibrated and you can see now it's on. I'll set it down and we'll take a closer look. So I didn't expect to see the little Android there. Maybe it did a little update of some sort. 
I'll wait till it boots here. Typical Verizon boot screen. The first boot always takes a little time, and that's to be expected. Again, we'll wait a moment here. Pretty reflective display, but it is pretty bright right here. Next to the OnePlus One, you can see it's just as reflective. No problems there. It is taking a while to boot. Uh, feels a little bit slippery on this back. Not sure I like the plastic, uh, but it is nice that you can take this off. And again, I see there's a couple little covers right here while we're waiting for it to boot up. Got some plastic pieces that they've got over the volume buttons. Little piece there. Set that aside. There we go. It says, please wait while we initialize your phone. Display wise, being a 4K display on a screen this size is somewhat questionable, but hopefully you've got fine battery life. We'll hit next. And if you get any new phone from Verizon, this is the typical phone activation. So this will take a moment. The phone was activated, so I hit next. Verizon Cloud, now we can either set this up or we don't have to. I'm going to skip it. I'll say not now. And here's all our different email accounts we can set up. Gmail is set up later, so we'll do that later. And we'll sign in with a Google account. As you can see, there's the keyboard that popped up. We're signing in to Gmail. And let's not use backup and restore. And we'll hit done. You can see this is the main home screen. It's a nice look to it. They've kind of gotten rid of their previous version. And this looks a little nicer. So we have some notifications here, SMS with... Hangouts. This is the default setup just as it's loaded, and we can scroll through. Typical Android, but we've got that nice stretch effect as well. So we'll tap on this, and you've got LG Health and Tips. A lot of companies are doing tips now. So we can go into Smart Tips and see that we've got some camera tips, not code, tap not code when the screen is off to access the home screen directly, Smart Notice, little cards. So a nice little looking phone. Uh, it's not too much of an interference as far as over the screen itself, as far as the themes. Stock apps that are installed, you can see we've got Contacts and Isis Wallet and Slacker and Quick Remote. Lots of things that are just standard here. Nothing on this page, but let's go back and check out the Amazon folder, Google folder, Tools, so there's Think Free Viewer and voice recorder, and Verizon apps. So it's nice that they grouped everything into one. It kind of keeps it out of the way. Tap and hold, go into Google Now. And let's take a look at some of the options. So if we go into settings here, let's take a look at what we've got. We've got airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile data, call, share and connect, more, mobile hotspot, Bluetooth tethering, Help, Mobile Networks, Default Message App, and VPN. Here we have Sound, Display, and I do like some of the sounds I'm hearing as I'm setting this up. So under Sound, we've got all sorts of different settings we can use. And this menu, this, this overlay that LG's created uh, is much nicer than TouchWiz. Looks really nice. Display. It's on automatic brightness. Looks pretty good. We're under pretty bright lights. I don't have it all the way up. Screen off effect, retro TV. We've got a lot of different effects here. Home screen. Lock screen. Gestures. Lots of different things here. One-handed operation. So this is a big display. For me, it doesn't look too big. But to give you guys an idea, I showed you the OnePlus One, but next to an iPhone, well, you can see the difference right there. It's it's pretty large, and it's it makes the iPhone look kind of laughably small, even though it's uh, this actually looks small in my hand. So 
go into storage, we can see what we've got available, 32 gigabytes total, 23.87 available after the, the pre-installed operating system and apps. We've got battery. You can see it's at 48%. I haven't charged this. I just pulled it out of the box, as you saw. And the battery percentage on the status bar, battery saver, we can turn on, and that should help with battery. Smart cleaning. And you can see tap below to clean the space with smart cleaning. And application manager, all the applications running, or downloaded rather, on the SD card. Actually, we want to go back. And then we've got dual window. So we can do split views and things like that on this. So we can tap a link on a full screen or tap email attachments to automatically open a dual window. So maybe I'll turn that on. That's nice. We have a guest mode so other people can take a look at this. We've got location, security. And there's lots of different security options on here with LG. They provided a lot of different really nice things. And it's a really nice phone overall. So we have language and input, backup and reset, and then your Google accounts, and then your shortcut key for system. So you can see, get the access to the apps by pressing and holding the volume keys when the screen is off or locked. You can set that up. I also have date and time, accessibility, quick circle case. So I don't have the quick circle case. That's a case that has a, a flap over the front with a little circle cut out. That's not something I have. Uh, printing. Cloud print on, about the phone, and system updates. Check system update. So we'll go back home. It's giving us tips here, and I, I know how to use all those. So you can see here's some things we've already got in there. Now let me show you the lock screen. I'll turn it off here. So really nice. You've got some options there. Let me do it again. You've got some options on the bottom, and we can go into... Chrome really quickly. One of the other things you can do that's nice is if you tap and hold the home button, you get to Google now. But if you tap and hold and go to the left, top, or right, you've got a couple different options. So if we go to VoiceMate and you accept their agreements, it's kind of like Siri. So find the closest pizza. You'll see it's searching. So it picked up my voice pretty quickly. Let's go back. Find the closest pizza. You can see. And it searches for us. And we told it to use, well, this doesn't really find us a whole lot. But in theory, it works well. And originally, it was in Korea only, but they've changed that. And if we tap on hold, we can also go to the right, which is a little memo here. Let's see, there we go, quick memo. And it basically does a screenshot and we can write, write on the screen. So we've got that built in as well. We can also tap and hold the app drawer and get to our settings this way, lock screen settings, home screen settings. Let's take a look at some of the camera options. We'll open up the camera. And on the left here, you have your typical flash. We can reverse the camera to the forward facing. You can see it's difficult to see, but we've got that. We have a mode here. We have magic focus, auto, panorama, and dual. Dual is both cameras at once. Magic focus is a little bit different. Let me put the one plus one here again, and we'll take a picture here. So it takes a bunch of photos, and then we can basically select the ones we want and refocus. So it's processing. We can adjust the focus where we want it. So it's got that nice little feature to it. We'll make sure it's in focus and that's it. We also have that option. We have the option to turn HDR on and off. We also have our resolution options here as well. We also can tell it to, to speak here to say cheese and smile, whiskey, you can see it just took a photo when I said cheese, picks up pretty nicely.
And it did it again. We'll turn that off. We also have a timer. And then we have the rule of thirds grid. So really nice full featured camera. And it's pretty quick and has some really nice processing features that you can use as well. The multitasking on the G3 is really nice as well. If you hit the multitask button, you can do dual windows. So you can show a couple things in the same window. So maybe we want to put maps one place and file manager down here. And we can have both in the same screen, similar to other manufacturers as well. It's a nice little feature. I don't know how much you might use it, but it's there. The other thing that's nice is with the multitasker, you just swipe things off the screen. Swipe all of these off. And if you want to clear all of them, just hit clear all. So really simple and nice and clean. After using the G3 for a few days, it actually has phenomenal battery life. You can see it's at 64%. And if I go into settings and we take a little bit closer look at the actual battery usage, it's been pretty great. It's been estimated time remaining is 92 hours. Now that's because it hasn't been on for the entire time, but it's actually been pretty good. It's been on 21% of the time as far as the screen, which uses a lot of battery and it's held up really well. Some interesting things I've found while using it. If I want to delete a shortcut, I just tap and hold and it's got this neat little animation where it opens a door at the top. So opens a door, drops in. And some people have said this actually lags. I haven't had that problem and it's been a really good phone. The phone feels great. It looks great. The screen is fantastic. You're not going to be able to see that in this video as the camera I'm recording with is actually a 1080p camera, but it is a really fantastic looking display. You're not going to see any pixels. Let's take a look at, I'm on 3G, but let's take a look at Zolo Tech will bring up the keyboard and the keyboard is height adjustable. It actually adjusts based on where you type and we'll go back now. I don't want to do that now, but it actually feels nice when you're using it. Search for Zolo Tech. See it loads pretty quick and we're on Verizon 4G with three bars, nice and fast scrolling. And with this kind of power, I really don't think you're going to see much of a slowdown. Uh, so far, no hiccups, anything like that. But I think it's really a very nice phone and worth looking at. It's the Verizon 4G LTE version of the LG G3. So let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.